Yeah, it's pretty funny to see people kind of freak out um, outside the music school especially because they just have no idea that there's more than one of us. So if they'll see us on campus, they'll be like, oh my God, like, am I seeing devil or something? Like all this, all the cliches that you hear about twins, like we've heard them all. It's an interesting experience, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we would have separate like lives basically. It was like my biggest thing coming in. I was like, well, if you're also gonna go to Rice, like we need to make sure we are not living the same life. My mom told us that when we were two and a half, we were watching um, the New York Philharmonic on PBS and the TV showed like someone playing the violin and I was like, oh, that looks fun, I should do that. Yeah, and I started um, originally on the violin when I was three and I hated it. And then I really wanted to play a cello, but they couldn't find one that was small enough for me. And so after about a year, I switched to the cello and I was much happier. Grandpa taught at Rice for over 40 years, and he was always really instrumental in our focus on academics growing up as well as music. I always really wanted to go to a university. I didn't want to go to a conservatory, and Rice is like the best of both worlds, like people say and that you can have the really intense music education, but also really have a lot of benefits from being at a university. Bryce was supposed to be my school. We weren't originally gonna go to the same school. Yeah, but she told me, you can't apply there. I'm already going there. <laughs> and I said, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, so, but we ended up both coming here and it, it turned out really well. I'm glad we're at the same place. Um, but yeah, Rice is definitely like an amazing school. Yeah.